Hey everyone, my name is Chris Connor and welcome to the first of hopefully many epic tutorials. Today we're going to take a look at the sci-fi weapons experiment from Andrew Kramer and I think all of you have seen this. It's basically a promo for his new products, Motion Pulse and Shockwave. Um, if you don't know what these things are, Motion Pulse is basically a sound effects library of really high-tech weapon sounds that you can actually combine and make something really good. And Shockwave as well, Shockwave. So, yeah. After he released his video and a week passed, it was clear that he would probably not make a tutorial. And I was like, oh, come on. Yeah, Andrew, the VFX master. But anyway. I need to try my own thing, so what I did, I got his video, went frame by frame and tried to figure out what he did. And my first vid was good enough that it didn't suck, but it needed refinement. And so here comes the second vid, which we're going to do today, and I tried to make it as simple and as elegant as I could. And let's have a look. Pretty cool. Um, I think it's close enough and it's not quite, quite there, but it's good. So let's do this. Fire up After Effects, bring in your comp, your footages, and everything. Who is that guy? <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this. Bring your, select your footage, bring it into a new composition, and you should be right here. Now, this is pre color graded because I need to help my PC with all the pre-ramp previews and stuff and yeah so step one click this thing actually not click this thing yours probably says 8-bit change it to 16-bit and why we do this is because we're gonna work with a lot of glow effects and we need the grading of the glow to be as smooth as possible and this is gonna help so let's do this go to the point where you shoot and go one two three frames back this word all start layer new solid make it white press ok um, close it for now select the ellipse tool and zoom in here and what we want to do is try to create some sort of light that emits from the tip of the gun this looks good enough cool press M twice to bring up the smart the mask properties and make minus 15 in my case uh, minus 17 maybe minus 20 yes success hold control shift D delete the previous thing you not need it go to the next frame control shift again double M make it zero and reposition the thing to where it should be there there cool um, go to the next frame control shift D delete Cool. Go back to the beginning and select layer, new, solid, blah blah, hit OK. Now my gun has these little holes in it that light should go through when I actually suit the freaking thing. Now if you don't have this, it's fine, you don't need it, but if you do have something like this, I highly recommend you do this, it's gonna make the gun look way cooler, sci-fi-ish. So I don't have to be very accurate with this one because one is a tutorial and two my gun is quite far away from the camera so you can actually see it as well but if your gun is close to it you should definitely try to make it as accurate as possible so what I'm doing now I'm just tracking for like three frames to make it stick up that's pretty cool Trusty delete so we're almost done with the first step. Select everything, pre-compose, call it ignition. Um, select the switch, make it put it on screen, and let's make magic. Go to the first one, go to effects, stylize, uh, glow, 
And what you want to do is play with the settings, duplication stuff, and try to make it look like actual light is coming through the freaking thing. Ah, leave it on three. And just for the sake of time, select Control C, Control V, pretty cool. Control V, Control V. Now, as the solid gets bigger, you can do that. You have to custom make make the adjustments, otherwise it won't look as good. But we'll do it quickly. So that's it. Let's do it one more. Pretty cool. Um, this is done. So close it. This is what we got um, here. Go to effects. Select it first. Go to the effects. Video call palette. Color vibrance. And if you don't have this, it's fine. Just go to their website. It's a free plugin and it's really awesome. So download it, install it, come back. Now what this little thing does is it colorizes everything, but it does an excellent job with white solids and glow and stuff. So if you can see here, it starts from spot from like yellow to light green to actual green and it's pretty cool pretty fast and pretty awesome now i'm going for a fire looking thing so this looks pretty cool now we'll make some always check this to make it better go to the effects call correction tint make it like 20. yeah just remove some of the vibrance of the color so we're really good i think this is done so yeah let's go on now what i have here let me see put on the screen what i have here is electronic sites um that i guess you can say they mix with a gun because it's from the future and it's basically a 2d pick nothing special cropped and what I did is I animated it so it can look like it actually powers up the gun before it actually shoots the thing. And it helps, makes it look cool. And with some sound effects, it's pretty awesome. So let's pour in, put the vibrance and glow effects again and just track it. Enable motion blur and this is what we got. So it powers up. Powers up keeps powering up boom yes so pretty cool go to the next frame wait yes this one now this is where the shockwaves come in go to the shockwave folder find shockwave number one it shouldn't be really hard um bring it in right click time this is really important time stretch 15 it's gonna be really fast um, put it on screen, let's bring it here, delete two frames, cool, reposition in it, now my gun is tilting, so I'm gonna make it 3D, and just make it look a bit more realistic, in terms of the placement, let's look, uh, come on, I'll make it a bit, just a bit bigger, so it's fine. Cool. Hit Control D to duplicate it. Go to the below one. Time, time stretch. Let's make this 20. Yep. S. Make it larger. Hit T to bring out the opacity. Make it like 15. Yeah. We basically want to create some kind of smoke behind the whole thing. So this is looking pretty good. Go to the shock with number one. Effect. You guessed it. Stylized glow. Same principle. Trying to make it look like lights coming off this thing. Yup, one more. A little bit too much. Nah, it's fine. Go to the ignition. Hit Control C, Control C, and Control V to paste it. So it's exactly the same color. Anytime. Control oh, V. Yes, here we go. Cool. This is looking pretty good. Now for the next step, go to the footage, hit Control D to duplicate it. Control Shift D to split the layer. Delete it. And what you want to do is switch again. Put it at to simulate the light. 
that's coming in your actor and then go to color correction curves now we do a fire looking thing so go to the red boost it up go to the blue turn it down and this should look pretty good yep see big difference hit t keep from the opacity go in the front put it in zero blah 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 pretty basic stuff but hold shift f9 to make the transition a bit smoother otherwise it's gonna look a bit weird but this is basically it yeah looking good um we're almost done go to layer new solid yes make it gone um and what we want to do is create the actual um laser beam it's coming out of the same um pretty bit just do a random laser shape thing does have to be great um open it up yes feather it hit f on the keyboard this looks good now go to the shockwave close everything up again select everything and copy paste them to save some time this will look good come on yep it does put it on screen it's a bit it's really fat so double m minus 10 good excellent um control shift d delete the previous things um hit p to bring up the position and keyframe this thing so first frame go one frame front move it blah, blah, blah. yep one more shouldn't be more than three frames i'm pretty close to the camera so one more just move it and then delete the thing we won't use it now what you want to do is go here to the settings come on and enable motion blur and this should take care of this thing come on yes success so here we go okay guys final step hmm anyway yeah um final step is making this thing disordered from the gunshot so go to layer new new adjustment layer and this really helps sell the effect like it almost does all things put above the footage because we do not want to affect anything else control shelf d make it what we want now go to the layer go to the effects disord turbulent displays now this is a really fast and like um there's a let's say way of doing this but you can adjust it and make it better but this is for something good and yeah let me see this is looking good go here and maybe change this no i think it's fine yeah let's we'll leave it there for now um keyframe the amount and the evolution and then go a few steps in the front in the front forwards god <laughs> um right there okay um make this zero and then just rotate this thing like randomly we don't care yeah i think this is it i think it's ready we will preview this thing to see what we got and pray for the best no <laughs> i think it's good let's pick the health Hmm. I think it's good. Bomb. Yep. This is looking really good. I just don't think we should change this. Make it a bit even bigger. And just rotate it just enough. Not quite, but just enough. Right there. Let's watch it now.
boom. Yep, success guys, this is it, this is the effect. It's pretty cool. So again, loading, energy, blast, and shockwave. So this is looking pretty good. If we see the original one, where is it? Come on. Here we go. Um, I did the exact same things. The color correction is a bit different, but it's the same principle. Um, when you pull, actually put sound, it makes the thing a lot better than what it is. And for the other types of shots, it's exactly the same, you see here. We power up, blast, and this is, again, white solid, same principle, glow and mask it, and then animate it so it goes boom. Um, and just choosing the right shock waves, changing their time to make it a lot faster because they're real slow for a gunshot. And yeah, the last one was a bit more complex than the other ones. Where is it? Here we go. Yeah, but again, same principle. Pop loading. This is a reversed um, shock wave. And it seems like particles are coming in the gun and then it blasts off. And this again, solid, circling, a lot of copies. And animation, so boom. So, yeah, this is it, guys. Um, I hope I helped you. Now, I'll show you what I'm working on, like a teaser or a pick. In our case, I always do a, a concept before I start a video to see if it's actually gonna happen. I don't know who this dude is, but yeah, it's Star Wars, so it's gonna look good. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm working on now. It's a lot of work. It has an insane amount of road scoping. I'm gonna kill myself with lightsaber stuff, but what can you do? They're real cool. So yeah, it's gonna be ready in like two, three days max, so stick around if you wanna see these things, and Thanks for watching. Now, go VFX stuff, guys. See ya.